guys, I am in the process of making a Galaxy Cup. It's something that was requested by a little girl. So the Galaxy Cup is going to be um, a little more girly, I guess you could say. So what I did was, as I go along, I'll show you what I have in each of my mixes. So the first thing I have is just regular um, epoxy that I've, I've um, mixed up and I put a little bit of silver iridescent in it. Now, one of the things you need to know when you're doing these cups is you don't need a whole lot of epoxy on the cup itself. And you'll see it sparkle. That's that iridescent silver glitter. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's good for showing the stars. And yes, you'll be able to see these. Another thing that I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to do this on a handle, which is really great. Everybody needs to know how to work those handles. All I'm basically do, doing is just rubbing onto the handle like this, making sure it's around the base of the handle, a little bit on the bottom, and guys, it doesn't take much at all. You don't want everything to be floating on top of the epoxy. You want it to be mixing in with the epoxy. So it doesn't take much at all. Now I'm going to take my heat gun or my, um, my handy dandy torch. Switch gloves real fast. and heat up this epoxy just a little, just so it will be warm. Get a little bit of light so you can see that sparkle. Just a little bit, it doesn't take much. You don't want your heat gun to stay, or your torch to stay on for very long because it will cause your epoxy to burn. And that's not what you want. You don't want burned epoxy. Just want it warmed up a little bit. Not much. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my alcohol inks. I use um, Tim Holtz and I use um, Pinata. So I'm gonna use Tim Holtz Purple first really quite sure oh it's purple twilight and drop this on on my let me go the other way so y'all can see it it doesn't take much it will run you don't want it to take over the next thing I'm going to use will be let's resin Pink. I like the Let's Resin Pink more than the Tim Holtz. Add a little bit more up here, this purple. This little girl loves the galaxy. And she saw a friend of mine's cup like I made for her like this and wanted one. So I said, okay. Just drop them on, make sure you get the handle in the underneath. Now you'll notice that the cup is several different colors. When I spray painted it, I spray painted it white, pink, and purple so that um, it would pick up those colors as well. It's not one solid color. The next color I'm going to use is going to be Tim Holtz Sailboat Blue. Make sure you get your handles. Now I'm not going to use any additives to this. Additives have a tendency to take over 
and you don't want that. You don't want it to take over. All right, finally, I'm going to use Pinata's Blanco, which is the white, and please excuse how badly it looks, but I use it a lot. And so much that it's actually empty. You may not be using this one. Now, the next thing I'm going to be using will be the, um, I think I'm going to use some of Let's Resin's white just because I want some white in it. So this is Let's Resin. You can get an entire set of this from them. I just want some white in there. This has a little bit of iridescent in it just to help spread everything out a little. Get it to mix in some. You don't want it to all be one solid dark color. You want some spreading. Let me forget your... Now, I prefer Pinata's White, but until I can get some more in, this is the only one I have. And it's what I use. Okay, the next thing I will start using will be my Pearl X Mica Powders. I like Pearl X because of the pearl um, that's in them. Now, I have used from fairy tale and I love their mica powders so please don't get me wrong I really love fairy tales mica powders but when it comes to these galaxies I really like to have that pearl image in it so now that we have put our mica on excuse me I apologize now that we've put our alcohol inks on I'm going to heat it up a little to get that to move around a little and then I'll show you how I add in my mica powders Heat this up a little. This also helps the mica powders to move when I add them on. Okay, just a little, not too much. Now I'm going to start with my darkest color. This is the Pearl X Purple. It is called Reflex Violet. And this is the way it looks. So first thing I'll do is I'll start dripping this onto the cup this way. There's no rhyme to reason about how you put this on. Spell your name out, it probably won't last. Make sure you put some on the bottom on your handle. The next one I'm going to use is going to be a darker color as well. It's the Pearl X Duo Blue Green. I buy my Pearl X at Hobby Lobby, but you can get an entire set on Amazon for less. I think I pay $5.99 at Hobby Lobby and you can get an entire set for about $3 a piece if you buy all of them. The only thing I don't like about the set is it doesn't come with the white, but that's okay. I can get that at Hobby Lobby and still save money. all about saving money. Put some on the bottom. I've already gotten some on my handle. Very good. The next one that I'm going to use is going to be the pink. Now the pink came in a smaller container. I ordered an entire container of the um, Pearl X sets to find out which ones I like the most. And this one is called Flamingo Pink. So that's why it's in a smaller bottle, but it is still the same. This is how it looks. Add that on. And 
haben. Putting a little swirl in there to give it something to have fun with, a little bit more on the handle. And finally, the one that I'm going to use next is going to be the Pearl X Macro Pearl. Now this is one that I have always, I always have the Macro Pearl. Add a little bit more epoxy to this one. I don't want it to be too thick. And the epoxy I have left over still has some of that iridescent or the holographic silver in it. So I think it would look really pretty in this white. Very good. And this is what the white macro pearl looks like. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on and just shape across this way. I don't want it to be taking over. some on the bottom. Make sure you get your handle. I love these cups. They're so fun. You just never know what you're going to get. Next thing I'm going to do is heat it up so I can get the epoxy to start moving. Stop it and turn it in the other direction. If your cup, if your cup turners turn in the other direction, it's a good thing to make it go in the other direction so that it will um, blend differently. I don't know how to really say it. Now the next thing I'm going to use is going to be my heat gun. My heat gun starts, heats up, and then it has to cool off. So it will still be running in the background, but you won't hear it as much. Now the thing about doing these types of cups and heating up your epoxy is you don't want to heat it up too much because it starts to run together and make what I call a belt around the cup. You don't want that to happen. You want it just to heat up enough to start moving. Once you see the epoxy start moving, that's when you stop. And that's what it's doing now. Let this run a little bit. As I said, this will keep going for a little while. But I'm liking how this is looking a lot. I'm going to take you off here and let you see it up close. This is how the back looks. So just a quick pop in to show you a cup that I enjoy making, and I think that she'll be happy with it. Have a great day.